everyone. Today we're going to go through level two back mobility and strength. So if you're not sure if this is right for you and you feel like you want to try level one first, then please do go ahead and do that first. And then when you feel able to build up to level two, otherwise if you feel like you want to challenge yourself, especially if you're not suffering from acute back pain, then this would be better for you. Whereas if you are suffering from back pain at the moment, um, it may be better to start with level one. So we're going to start off with a roll down. So standing at the end of your mat, standing nice and tall, drawing those shoulders back. We're going to start just nodding your chin to your chest and then roll forward one vertebra at a time, peeling yourself nice and slowly reaching down towards the floor as far as you feel able to. If you can touch your toes, then great. If you need to bend your knees, that's fine. Take a deep breath in, and then you're gonna roll back up. And just stack one vertebra back on top of the other until you come back up to the start. Growing tall again. And once more, chin to chest, roll forward, one vertebra over the other, reaching forward to your toes. You're going to bend your knees, walk forward, and come down onto your hands and knees. Okay. So, in this position, we're going to do hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. So, let's just start off with a cat cow. So, you're going to arch your back, tucking your tailbone under and dropping your head. And then you're going to look up and lower your spine to the floor lifting through your chest and reverse all the way up and all the way down and then find that neutral position where you're halfway between the two you're going to engage those deep core muscles and reach your left arm forward and stretch your right leg back and hold really working through your core and come back and then reach your right arm forward and your left leg back, hold, and come back to the center. And we're just gonna keep alternating sides, left arm, right leg, and then right arm, left leg. Try and focus on that core contraction, and also trying to keep that spine nice and long without twisting left or right reaching through your fingertips and back with your toes once more on each side and come back to the middle okay so coming to the front of your mat we're going to go into a long arm plank so really pushing your shoulders away from the mat engaging through your core you're going to stretch your right leg back onto your toes and then your left leg back and hold. So your shoulders are nice and strong, your core's engaged for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, I'm shaking, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lower back down. Perfect, well done. Okay, now we're gonna come onto your tummy. Okay. So lying nice and comfortably, I want you to prop yourself onto your elbows, looking forward, lifting through your chest. And then if you can, you're going to just extend through your elbows and lift yourself a little bit higher and then lower yourself back down. And again, you're going to breathe out, lift, and then slowly come back to the start. Perfect. Coming down onto your tummy completely. So we're going to go into Superman but on all fours now. So arms outstretched. You're going to engage your core, tuck your tailbone under so that your back is a little bit flatter. You're going to reach your left arm forward and right leg up and down. Right arm lifts, left leg lifts and down. And just keep alternating, keeping that core engaged. So you want to keep 
your forehead parallel to the floor. You can keep your head slightly lifted off the floor if you like, or rest your head on the floor if that's uncomfortable. Really working through the, your back. Engage those core muscles. Last one. And relax. Perfect. So with level one, we did a half plank, which was on your knees. So as this is level two, we're going to progress onto a full plank. So we're gonna try and hold it for 20 seconds. So we're gonna come onto the front, to the, towards the top of your mat. You're gonna have your elbows under your shoulders, your toes tucked under, really engage through your core, and lift. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your quads, push your shoulders away, and hold. You've done 10 seconds, keep breathing. And relax back down, perfect. Let's come onto your side now. So again, with level one, we did a half side plank on your knees where you lifted up here. Now we're going to progress onto your full side plank with your legs nice and long this time. So legs one on top of the other. Again, you want your elbow under your shoulder. Start with your hand on the mat. Keep your spine nice and long, core engaged. We're gonna lift and hold. If you can, lift your arm and hold. Keep breathing. You've done 10 seconds, let's do 10 more. and relax. Perfect. Come on to the other side. Remember, if at any point you want to go down onto your knees again, that's absolutely fine. So again, your elbows under your shoulders, your neck, legs are nice and long. You're going to lift and hold. Halfway. Okay, let's come on to your back. So we'll give you a little rest for a second. So what we're going to do is just hug your knee into your chest, right leg up. And down and then left leg up. And then hug them both up together. You can gently rock side to side. You can gently rock forward and back, whatever feels comfortable for you. And then lower one leg down at a time. Let's go into a little spine twist. So arms out to the side, feet and knees together. You're going to roll your knees to the left as you look over your right shoulder, as far as feels comfortable for you. And then you're gonna roll your knees to the right as you look over your left shoulder. Feel that nice twist through your spine, opening your chest up to the ceiling. And then come back. Let's do that once more. If you want, you can straighten that leg over the top and rest it on the floor for an extra stretch. And then come back to the center and then go the other way and then if you want to take your leg over the top for an extra stretch and then slowly come back to the center relax your arms down by your side okay so we're going to go into your shoulder bridge so if you remember level one we peeled your spine up into a shoulder bridge with both legs on the floor. This time we're gonna progress into a little bit of a single leg bridge. 
So just bend those knees a bit more so you can touch your heels with the tips of your fingers. You're going to engage your deep abdominal muscles. Relax your arms by your side. Tilt your pelvis back and scoop your bottom and your spine off the floor until you're resting on your shoulder blades. And now without dropping one side lower than the other, I want you to lift your knee to your chest and then down and then swap and down. Right and left and then you're going to roll down again one vertebra at a time. So when you lift your leg, really focus on keeping that pelvis nice and steady. Roll up, engage the core and the glutes, lift one leg and the next. Remember to breathe, breathe out, breathe in. And lower it down. Perfect. Once more, rolling up and right, left, right, left, and lower. Wonderful. Okay, let's go on to our hundreds. So, level one, we were resting our legs on the floor and pulsing our arms up and down with the head lift if you felt able to. Level two, we're going to go into a tabletop position. So 90 degrees at the hip and the knee, engage your core, arms by your side, lift the other leg up. And now you're going to pulse those arms up and down. Breathing in for five, breathing out for five. Again, if you feel able to, lift your head, keep that neck nice and long, Keep that core engaged, breathing in and out. If the head's too much, come back down. If it's too much to have both legs in the air, just have one leg in a tabletop position. And once you've done 10 or 20 pulses on one leg, you can swap and do 10 or 20 pulses on the other leg. Or if you feel like you can, Come into double tabletop. There's always variations you can do. Head up, head down, both legs up, one leg down, one leg up. Let's do five more. Four, three, two, one. Relax. One leg down at a time. Perfect. So these are really quite challenging core exercises. So we're always focusing on what your lower back is doing. And we're trying to prevent your lower back arching away from the floor. So you want to keep it gently resting on the floor, not completely flat, with a very slight curve, but really focusing on keeping those deep abdominal muscles engaged. So coming now onto our scissors. So if you remember level one, we just did one leg and then the next. So just like our hundreds, we're going to come into a double tabletop position really engage through your core. We're going to lower your right leg and then bring it up and then your left leg and bring it up. Breathe out, breathe in. Really focus on drawing your navel down towards the floor, trying not to let your tummy dome up to the ceiling. Remember to move with your breath. Make sure that lower back doesn't start coming away from the floor. Good, and then lower one leg down at a time. Okay, coming on to our one leg stretch now. So bring your right leg up to tabletop. Engage that core a little bit more deeply. We're going to just straighten that right leg away and then bring it back to the center. Breathe out, breathe in. Keep that core engaged for three, two more, four, and five. And swap. Left leg up, straighten it and 
bend. As you straighten, keep that core engaged for two, three, four, five, and back down. Okay, let's come back now onto your hands and knees. So we're now just going to get a bit of mobility through your upper back. So we're going to do an exercise called thread the needle. Coming into your neutral position, you're going to thread your left arm under your right arm and twist as far as you can, and then twist up to the ceiling. Once more, twist under, reach that arm forward, and reach up, back to the start, other arm, reach under, twist, reach up, once more, reach under, reach up, back to the middle, sit back into child's pose, reach your arms forward, rest your head on the floor, and then see if you can walk both hands over to the right, feeling a stretch on the left side of your waist and lower back, into your shoulder, and then walk both hands slowly over to the left, feeling a stretch on the right side of your body. Slowly come back to the middle. Back onto your hands and knees. And now tuck your toes under. We're going to go into a down dog. So you're going to push your legs straight, stick your bottom in the air and straighten through your spine. Keep your arms straight, head relaxed and really push your spine as straight as you can, keeping that bottom up nice and high. Now we're gonna stretch through your calf, bend your right leg, push your left heel to the floor. Bend your left knee, push your right heel to the floor. Keep that spine long, bend your right knee, push your left heel to the floor, and swap. Both legs straight, and then come back to the middle. Right, up into a nice high kneeling position. We're now going to do a few stretches. So we're going to stretch through the front of your hip. Take your left leg forward, up nice and tall, engage your core. You're going to lean a little bit more weight on your left leg and push your right hip forwards until you feel a stretch in the front of your right hip and you're gonna hold that position. Keep that tummy drawn in. Feel a good stretch there. And then you're going to swap sides and hold. So a bit more weight on your right leg, push your left hip forward, hold that position. back to the center. Come on to your back to finish. We're going to do a hamstring stretch. So relax your left leg on the mat, hold behind your right leg, keep that back relaxed on the mat and just straighten your knee until you feel a good stretch at the back of your thigh into your hamstrings and hold. Give your ankle a little bit of a movement up and down round in circles, the other way, and relax down. And then the other leg, reach up, feel a good hamstring stretch. Move your ankle up and down, round in circles, the other way, and down. Last stretch, cross your right ankle over your left knee. So you've got a figure of four. Hold between the gap, bring your left knee up to your chest and feel a good stretch into that right buttock and hold. And then you're gonna swap over, bring your right knee up to your chest. And then relax. 
Okay, come up into standing again. Okay, so we're just going to finish with the last few movements. So standing tall, just lean over to your left and reach your right arm up and over. Come back to the start. Reach down the right leg, reach up and over. To the start. Roll those shoulders back. Well done, you did it. Level two, back mobility and strength. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep going, maybe try and do this twice a week along with some cardio exercise and hopefully you'll feel a lot stronger and more mobile. Bye.